This is the plaintiff, Shanika Shepard. She says the defendant was her landlord, and when she moved out, he locked her out before she could retrieve her bedroom set. The guy had a thing for her, because she's young and beautiful, and he's old and in an unhappy marriage. The guy's harassed her, is stalking her, and what he did wasn't right, and today's judgment day. She's suing for $4,575 for her bedroom set and harassment. This is the defendant, Barrington Kelly. He says he had to have the plaintiff evicted by a marshal for non-payment of rent. She left her bedroom set behind because she had no place to bring it. No one ever came for it, and since it was abandoned, he threw it out. He sued her in court for back rent. She still owes him over 5,000 bucks, and he owes her nothing but a good riddance. He's accused of harassing a tenant. All parties, please use your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. Shanika Shepard? Yes. You are suing Barrington Kelly, your landlord of many, many years ago, for $4,575? Yes, Your Honor. For money you say that was inappropriately taken out of your account, harassment, and a bedroom set you left behind 13 years ago that you'd like to collect on. Now, tell me what's going on. Okay, basically, Your Honor, I moved out of, well, I left out of his place in 2006, moved down. How did you leave his place? I left his place by getting another apartment. Were you the subject of an eviction? No, I was not. I never received any eviction left letters from Barrison Kelly. He told me verbally that he didn't want me to stay in his house no longer. I agreed. At the time, I was working for Novelty Realty Company. I told my broker what was going on. My broker said, don't worry about it. He'll find me another place. How, long, how many months' rent did you owe? None. Okay. Nothing. Uh, and then what happens? And then I got me a U-Haul truck. I went and got the apartment down the block. I moved out, got my things out, my son Except bedroom. Except for you left your bedroom set. My son bedroom set first because the, the um, U-Haul truck was not that large. That's to get your pro That sounds to me like a you problem, not like a him problem. Okay. Why'd you leave the bedroom set? I behind? did not leave the bedroom set, Yana. When I came back to come get my bedroom set, he had this letter on the door with some marshals locking the whole apartment. Some marshals? Yes, yeah, some marshals. Where did the marshals come from? Because the marshals only get involved if there's an eviction, my dear. Yes, and I never got the eviction at all from Mr. Ke Kelly. Okay, ever. now you have a very different story. According to you, you had to evict her. Why? Because she owes me four months' rent. Okay, and she the rent was how pay. much? Um, it was thirteen hundred. Thirteen fifty per month. All right. So, uh, why did you wait four months to evict her? Well, you know, I give her a chance because um, she was on welfare. Okay. She, you know, so I give her a chance. All right. To pay so the bill. So four months go by of chances, and then when do you file the case? It was. Um, <clears throat> do you have the paperwork yes. from the judgment? Did you get a judgment? Yes, ma'am. Okay. It's, it's right here. All right. So your complaint. Um, talks about money that was taken out of an account of yours when? In 2009? It actually happened in 2007. He, okay. um, I had my income tax check. It went directly to my HSBC account. I went to my account to go get money to go pay my bills. Unfortunately, Barrett and Cully took $1,500 out of my account. Well, he didn't physically, no, physically go into yeah. your bank, stick his money in a jar, and take your money. No, he didn't he do that. He showed the bank a judgment that a judge gave him saying that you owed the man five grand. Yes, and yeah, sometimes I, there's consequences to, to owing people money. They, they get it from you. You're right, Your Honor. And I have no <laughs> problem if I owed them money to give it to him. But unfortunately... But when, okay, so in 2009 when that happens... It was you, 2007. It wasn't 2009. Worse yet. In 2007 yes. when that happens, why didn't you go to the court then and say, I don't know what this is about. I never got notice. I'd like to reopen this. At I don't that know time, a Your Honor, I was a, real, a foreclosure specialist. I didn't really you care. You were a what? A foreclosure specialist. Worked I don't know what that means. Well, looking for foreclosure apartments, like houses. Foreclosure specialist? Yes. Like oh, well then you got, you got to know the game if you're a foreclosure specialist. Right. So don't tell me you don't know what a marshal and a judgment is. Right. I think you do know. Right, so Anna. you didn't go to the court then to say, hey, there's been some horrible mistake in communication. There shouldn't be a judgment against you. You didn't do that. No, I did not at the time. Exactly. No, I didn't. And then, let's see, in 2015, you were able to take $75, sir, Mr. Kelly? I did not 
get no money, ma'am. Oh, Nothing. you never got any money? Nothing. According to her, you were able to get money in 2007 from one of her bank accounts by having frozen the account. No, ma'am. Show me the paperwork so I can see that it's him. Uh, I have the paperwork, Your Honor. Farrah Did you try again? to and you were unsuccessful? Um, or what? Me again. I give the kiss to... Um, so, ma'am, stop talking. Yeah. I give the case to a judgment recovery to, to collect... Ah, so they were probably doing it. ...collect the money. Right. And I never receive a dime, ma'am. Okay, so I'm... Let's see. Legal document fee, $75. That's your bank charging you $75, so that's taken care of. And where is the 1500 that was taken out? HSBC, when I went there, Your Honor, to ask them for back results for what happened in 2006 and 2007, they told me... The I'm only... sorry, so you've come to court to sue without any evidence? Of... I have a card from HSBC. They told me that you could be able to call them on the phone. No, 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 no. Let me explain to you how court works. Okay. I don't chase your evidence for you. Okay, Sometimes no I'll do that when I feel sorry for somebody. I am not feeling that milk of human kindness right now in your direction. You literally have come with some bank records that show that twice someone is chasing you for money. Doesn't show Mr. Kelly. People of the state of New York. Hmm. Subpoena with restraining notice. So they sent you this and what did you do? Use it as a doily for your beer? Mm. You got a letter mm -hmm. from an attorney Saying no, I never got a letter from an attorney. No, that that's from my bank. You handed it to me. My that's bank. This... I got it from Chase Bank. Okay, so this went to Chase, and you got it from Chase, right? I so just... you know that this is a letter on a, about a lawsuit, and then you don't go move no. to set it aside. Mm -hmm. And then the bank must have. Did you Have you checked with them to see if they collected anything? Because you say, you don't have proof of it, but you say they collected 1500 right? That's from HSBC. Well, that should go to you. Will you call those judgment people? Because they may have some of your money. Ma'am? I don't receive a dime. I know, I believe you. <laughs> you know, and um... I believe you, because you seem awful lost. <laughs> but you, so you, Shanika, where do I go to get your chutzpah, your gumption, your nerve, and bottle it so I can sell it to the rest of humanity? That okay, you would this, come Shana. in here and sue for a bedroom set you left behind. $2,500 is your lawsuit for a bedroom set that you didn't get around to picking up back in 2005? And according to you, tell me about the bedroom set. You call her and say, get this out of here, and what does she say? Um, the bedroom set, <clears throat> I call her up. I keep it for 30 days. And um, after the 30 days, I call her up. She tell me to throw it out. So I couldn't keep it no longer. I threw it out. As a matter of fact, I have the arm. Um, well, the... She's been worried about it since 2005. It's right here. All the evidence, how she leave the apartment, the bedroom set is right here. Let's see and it. As Let's a matter of fact, the bedroom set, she catch it up. It was no good. Everything is there. That's how she leave the apartment. <laughs> Cleaning's not your thing, eh? Yeah. Okie dokie. What's the harassment, though? Wait, $425 for harassment. What's that for? What, what's I have that? my proof from the court from him that he's got dismissed. If he feel like I owe him that money, I bring him back to civil court. Okay, let me see that. So he can stop attacking my account. So I mm -hmm. went back to the courthouse myself. Uh -huh. I brought him back to court. He never showed up, so the judge threw it out for the $5,000 he said wait, I owe him. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see what you're doing. He's saying I owe him hold money. Hold on, hold the on. The and all this stuff. Hold Why did he come to court? On. Hold it on. Oh, this could go on for years. Mm. Let's have it go on for years. All right, Mr. Kelly, I'm going to, um, first of all, on your lawsuit against him, zero, okay? Because he had a valid court judgment, and that's what happens with a valid court judgment. They get to chase your bank accounts. He did not. You should stop talking. You need to contact whatever judgment company may or may not have collected <laughs> $1,500 from her and then not given you a penny. And you, here's, here's what she did, which is amazing. This is all the times, Your Honor, that I took him to court to sit there and let him tell a judge on civil court or something boulevard that I owe him this money. He never showed up. That you owed him this money? Yes, he's saying I owe him $5,000. Right, and I, you're saying that you did it. He never showed so up. So it got on calendar four different times. And according to you, it's been set aside. And... And the judge you, just... Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on. I don't care. What does that have to do with what happened for the 10 years before that, which is what you're complaining about? Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So who is the most unfair, landlords or tenants? Hmm. 
I honestly would say the tenants because they don't really respect the landlords that well. Okay. I would go with landlords just because the tenants, it's like you're supposed, they're supposed to be helping you out. You're the one living there. Fair enough. Who's going to be the tiebreaker? Who wants to be the tiebreaker? Okay. Landlord, for sure. Why? Uh, sometimes they don't keep up the building or take care of the property or do what they say they're going to do. Tenants sometimes too. That's true. Okay, <laughs> going inside the courtroom. She says that this is what I'm looking at, that she went back to court and that she got your judgment set aside back in June of 16, June of 2016, is that what you're saying here? Yes, Shauna. Okay, so what you may wanna do, give him a copy of this, and you may wanna go back to court again and get it reinstated and just do this the rest of your lives, <laughs> or you may just be tired and you may never want to see her again. I don't know nothing about that, Mira. He's a yeah. liar. <laughs> I do not know He's nothing. He's a liar. I what address? Uh, like what? Hey, wait, hold on. Are you at one street? I'm not living there anymore, man. Right. That so was she, years ago. Right. So what she did was she, I guess she sent so it to her. the last the come note. here? What part? What, mm. Let me ask you a question. Do you hear words coming out of my mouth? Why do you keep screaming while I'm talking? <laughs> Because you know what, Your Honor, you're not listening to nothing to judge. Get out of my courtroom. Court. Just get out of my courtroom. That'll make it so much easier for me to talk. If someone filed a motion to set aside a judgment that was 11 years old in front of me, they would never get the time of day. She says a judge gave her the time of day. And I don't know if it's true or not true. Um, but I'm going to give you a copy of this. Yes, ma'am. But in any event. I'll make sure that you have a copy of this and ask for her lawsuit against you, you win. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, go ahead. Do you have a question? Yes, I was saying I don't know nothing about I know. that paper. I know. It went. <laughs> I know. Because what she did was she sent it to where you used to live, because that's where she used to know you used to live. She doesn't know that you moved. But um, Mariana. Yeah. The apartment that she lived in. I, I gave you a picture of it. Mm -hmm. She could send it there. That's my house right there. Well, I'm sure she didn't try very hard for you to go to court. I no, agree with you. No, she did not. Right, okay. Yeah. But so if you want to go back and move this aside now, you can because you have the evidence of it. Yes, Okay. Thank you. Um, so, no, so take um, a photocopy of it and give it to him, and then you can return that document to the nasty-mouthed woman that I just <laughs> made leave my courtroom. Good Thank luck to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, sir. Well, the plaintiff was evicted from the courtroom by the judge. She's still standing over here. Ms. Shepard, let me just talk to you for a second. You've heard what went on here today. What, yes. What's going through your head right what's now? What's going through my head is I'm going back to civil court again and show my proof again and show Barrison Kelly that he's not going to keep constantly going on my account, freezing my account. This thing is going on and on and on. Yeah, he had nothing else better to do with his time. He can't make it to well, you're the same way. You're taking him? Never. He took me in the beginning. He kept constantly freezing my account. and he had. But you still owe him money. Uh, I bet you I won't pay him anything because I've got the judge on my side at civil court. In no, not this judge. I don't care about that judge. She's nobody to me. God bless her on her journey. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. All right. Mr. Kelly, if you'll step out here. This is, this is an ongoing dispute that's not going to end. Yes, sir. It's, at least that's what it seems like. Yes, sir. Well, you, you don't know anything about the ter her attempts to get you into court? No, sir. I don't know nothing about that. I never received no paperwork. And she still owes you over $5,000? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She did. What are you going to do now? I'm going to pursue the case until I get my money. Well, good luck in your court chase, okay? It looks Thank like you. it's going to go on and on. Thank you, sir. All right. Good Thank luck you. to you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Harvey? If I may, Doug, uh, the plaintiff in this case is just plain dumb that she came to court trying to convince the judge of something, and then she mouths off to her and undermines her case. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.